When we were couch surfing on the mainland, escaping Hurricane Maria, I got the chance to binge watch a bunch of HGTV. And that show, Caribbean Life, oh my gosh, we need to talk about that. Because everything is so happy. They look at three beautiful houses. They start living their idyllic Caribbean lifestyle. And let me tell you, there's another side to that story. So we're gonna take a little walk to the beach today and I'm gonna tell you about that. drawbacks to living in the Caribbean. It's hot. It's so hot. There are only two seasons here, hot and less hot, and it's humid. You will be sweaty and hot all the time in the Caribbean. Number two, electricity is expensive. You are AC dependent, so you will be using electricity all the time, and it will cost you a lot. Number three, the electricity and the internet, especially here in Puerto Rico, is sometimes flaky so it's on most of the time but sometimes it goes out and it could go out for a few minutes or it could go out for a few hours number four internet is not that fast and it's kind of expensive for what it is so we're paying 77 bucks a month and we're getting 25 to 30 megabit service for that um, on the mainland we could do so much better number five in puerto rico sales tax is really high some of these tax havens, they may not charge you income tax, but they're gonna charge you, charge you other tax, property, sales tax, or whatever. Anyway, ours is high, it's 11.5%. Number six, gas is expensive here. It's more expensive than the mainland, but in Puerto Rico, I'm pretty sure it's less expensive than almost every other Caribbean island. Seven, groceries are expensive. Here we pay about 25% more than we were paying in uh, Northern Nevada, Northern California. Number eight, the produce selection is not as good. I mean, it's okay. You've got your basic lettuce and tomatoes and carrots, but sometimes things are missing. I mean, sometimes you can't find any mushrooms. <laughs> Number nine, there is no Whole Foods, no Trader Joe's, no Target. Organic produce, soy milk produce is very hard to find. Very hard to find, and it's very expensive. Number 10, everything rots so quickly. Like, paper fades and deteriorates at warp speed. You get fruits like bananas on the counter, like they're gonna be like brown in three days. I mean, and with fruit flies. So everything just degrades quickly. Number 11, mold is everywhere. So either get dehumidifiers or just get used to it because you will never beat the mold. 12, um, going back to fruit flies, they are a constant battle. They are everywhere all the time. If you leave some fruit out for more than a day, they're gonna just show up. Ants are mean. They're really mean and they wanna bite you. And when they bite you, when they bite me, I get these huge welts and this mad itching for three days. I mean, it's worse than mosquito bite. You get mystery bites. Sometimes you just wake up with some mystery bite. You don't know what it is or how you got it. And then there's mosquitoes, of course. They're just ever present. And sometimes in the beaches, when it's been wet for a while, you'll get these sand fleas or no seams. I don't know what, people call them different things. They bite you and you don't notice it at first, uh, but then when you leave, you've got all these little bites and it's really itchy for a few days. Number 13. Amazon doesn't ship everything here. So big items like chairs or uh, or sometimes really strange random things, um, they just won't ship. Number 14, shipping takes longer and it costs more. So Amazon Prime here means five to 10 days. You can get FedEx and UPS overnight. It's just really, really expensive. Number 15, this is particular to Puerto Rico. But Puerto Rico has a lot of traffic and I read somewhere that the number of cars Per square mile in Puerto Rico is like one of the highest on the planet. Like people love their cars here. It's a huge thing. Almost anytime you go someplace except Sunday, there's kind of a lot of traffic. 16, related to that, okay, the people here are amazing. They're the nicest people you'll meet anywhere. They'll invite you into their homes and become, you know, become part of their family and come to my barbecue. I just met you yesterday. They're awesome people, but they are crazy drivers. Like on the road, they, the rules are like, what? What rules? There's whatever. Swerve, they text on the phone, they go like 25 miles an hour in the 50 mile an hour lane. Left lane means drive whatever speed you want. It's just, it's kind of crazy. 17, the roads here are generally a mess. I mean, they're old, they're rotted out, they have holes the size of goats. Be prepared for 
bad roads and get a car that can handle it. 18, Google Maps cannot always be trusted. Um, I imagine this is true on the other islands as well. We found it's best to bring at least three map sources because it is not straightforward. 19, service at businesses, if you get service, it's slow. Manana is a thing, it just, patient, it'll happen. Yes, 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 we'll be here tomorrow. Oh, I meant tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow never comes. If you're a type A personality trying to get stuff done on these islands, you will go nuts. 20, bureaucracy. Whenever you have to deal with a government agency or a government office, at transferring your electricity, it's so difficult here. You know, going in to deal with your license, there's all these things and forms and lines, and it's just, it's just, it's horrible. It's worth it to pay concierge services to go stand in line and deal with that stuff for you. 21, this is particular to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has a very loud culture, and so, like, the music is loud, the parties are loud, the speaker trucks that drive around town are really loud, and like even the movie theater is so loud. Like we've stopped going to the movies because it's just, it's too loud. I mean, it's just uncomfortably loud. So um, if you like it loud, this is totally your place. Okay, 22. This is definitely a factor on all the islands I've been to and I've been to a lot of them. There are a lot of messy, abandoned homes. There's garbage thrown around. There's stray dogs. There's just a lot of just mess. and. On these shows like Caribbean Life, they only show you the beautiful beach shot and the amazing homes and the lovely shopping and you know that's highly edited because when you look around there's just, there's poverty and you know and, and people who are struggling to survive don't have time to worry about trash and so you see it everywhere. Number 23, island fever is a real thing. When you're stuck on an island, you want to, after some period of time, get the heck off. Puerto Rico's actually really good in this way because it's a big island and so you can drive three hours, get to the other side, and feel like you've gone someplace. And there's just a lot to see and do on this island, so Puerto Rico kind of wins on that front. And in last, number 24, is hurricanes. Hurricanes are a real thing, as we found out this last season. Um, hurricanes Irma and Maria blew through and devastated many parts of these islands. And Puerto Rico is still recovering from that. So those were 24 things that you you know, I know this sounds kind of negative, but you really want to consider these things if you're thinking of making a move like this. And, you know, but on the positive note, I mean, the people here, especially in Puerto Rico, they're nice, they're warm, they're friendly, they're welcoming. I've heard on other Caribbean islands that, you know, Americans that go there are seen as a resource and uh, something to be milked. But here, we are Americans. We're all Americans. There's no two-tiered pricing for us versus them. I mean... You know, it's just, it's all inclusive. And that's one of the things I really like about this particular Caribbean island. So as I've been sitting here, I think I've gotten like four mosquito bites. I mean, I sprayed my legs, but I didn't spray them all the way up. So, bye from the Caribbean. Thanks for watching. Would love it if you left a comment, if you have any questions about living in the Caribbean, or if you have favorite things, that, you know, things you like, things you don't like. Would love to hear from you. So until the next video, I will see you later. Oh,